It is a wet Monday morning, but Nigerian students are on the road. They have embarked on a walk against corruption in support of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission's anti-corruption war. The students lament that opportunities for the youths have been stifled by corrupt persons and are asking the commission to reach the society of all fraudulent and corrupt individuals, including youths involved in internet scams. So we are here today to support the ongoing war against corruption because we know the, our country, we know the problem corruption posed to this country. We know how our, our natural resources, we know how it has been wasted in time past. So anybody coming out to fight against ESC is doing their work, then definitely the person is not doing well, does not mean well for this country. They are also asking the EFCC to uphold professional standards in its operation and to shun any form of abuse of human rights when carrying out its duties. Responding to the group, the chairman of the commission, Olani Kwekun Ulukoyede, assures the youths that the commission will bring all those who have committed financial crimes to book. The chairman also says that the commission will monitor and ensure that funds allocated for student loans are not stolen. We want to thank Mr. President, who has created the student loans project program for students. Now the essence of that is that you don't have to do Yahoo Yahoo for you to be able to pay your school fees. Now you go there, I'm going to invite the director general of that pro project to come to my office. We will sit down and ensure that they don't destroy that project and ensure that the money allocated that project goes to the right people. So we are going to ensure that they don't mismanage that project. And we are going to ensure that Mr. President delivers on that project for the benefit of entire Nigerian students. On its recent operations, Ulukoyedi says several raids in Lagos and other parts of the country have targeted internet fraud stars, scamming innocent citizens and giving the country a bad name internationally. We, we brought 127 of them suspected and um, we discovered that 113 of them were indicted. 113. We have five charges against almost 80 of them. The remaining will have their days in court. That is what happened. They were fully indicted. The Lagos operations over 100 people have been indicted. We are, going to, we are filing charges against them. In fact, we are filing about 50 charges against 50 of them. We are filing the remaining charges by next week. And so we are working. We have been on their trail. We have, we have we matter surveillance. The Solidarity Walk by the National Association of Nigerian Students comes against the backdrop of recent criticisms of the Commission. Only last week, some civil society organizations had called out youths for a nationwide protest against the Commission for alleged unprofessional behaviors and perceived excesses of the operatives of the Anti-Graft Commission. Ferdinand Duroja, Arise News.